Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to install the new FSR3 upscaling mod into the Red Dead Redemption 2 Empress version without the flickering HUD issue, and it's working flawlessly. It will work on the original game too, so stick around, like, and subscribe. Let's dive in. I'm using high ultra settings for the test, and before you install the mod, make sure to turn off V-Sync and triple buffering. Also, turn on DirectX 12, Vulkan isn't supported yet. I'm getting decent FPS, and it's completely playable with occasional freezes and stutters due to my weak CPU. So if you have a good CPU, you can expect more consistent gameplay. Please don't forget to watch the whole video before commenting that the mod doesn't work. Okay, let's see how you can install this mod. I will put both links in the description, go ahead and download those. If you have the original game with FSR support, you can skip the first step and copy only the upscale files. For others, follow me. Go to your game directory. Open the FSR enabler zip and drag and drop everything into the game directory, or extract it, copy and paste it there. Run the game one time to set up FSR. Even though this says DLSS, it's FSR. After setting that up, leave the game. I repeat, leave the game without loading into the world. After that, extract the upscale files to the game directory. Open the mods folder. Open this file. From here, if you have an RTX card, you can use DLSS. So put the number in front of the upscaling method into the bottom line to use it in-game. We are going to use FSR3, so put number three in here. For some of you guys, the game will not launch if you don't open the game as an administrator. When you launch the game, you will see the Rashad menu on the top left of your screen. That means the mod is installed. As soon as you load into the game, you will feel the difference. These are the same settings I used before installing the mod. Glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this job. Press the end key on your keyboard to bring up the mod menu. I highly recommend not touching this menu because it tends to crash when you change something here. To see the fix work, let's disable the HUD fix and see what happens. To remove this menu, press the end button again. You can see HUD flickering is present when you disable the fix. When I enable the fix, HUD flickering is gone. As you can see, sometimes even opening the mod menu crashes the game, so don't open it if you can. You can use the star button in your number pad section to toggle the frame generation on and off without opening the mod menu. For those who don't have a number pad on the keyboard, 
Search the on-screen keyboard here and open it. If you still can't see the number pad, go to options and tick this turn on numeric keypad. Press OK, and you now have a number pad. When I click on this star button, you can see my FPS change. You can do the same for the menu, too. If you do accidentally tick this async compute option, your game will crash. If you do, go to your game directory again, go to mods, and open this file. Scroll down and change this true to a false. If you don't do this after enabling that option, the game will not work, and you will see the same error message over and over again. So that's it. As always, like and subscribe. Have a good day.